We are going to make pleated cow neck patterns. My name is Jean and welcome to Pattern Studio 101. I'm posting pattern making tutorials every week. The videos are short and easy to digest. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss new lessons. Today, we are going to make pleated cow neck patterns. We made basic cow neck patterns last time. If you haven't watched it, uh, I'll link that at the end of this video. Pleated cow neck is basically the same as cow neck patterns. You have loose draped fabric around your neck. You can make pleats or gather on your shoulder so you have rich draping around your neck, on your chest. We are going to start with the pattern that we drafted last time. Here's the pattern. I'm going to make two pleats on each shoulder. Divide by three the shoulder and draw a curved line to the center front. Move up the pieces. Keep the center front line and just go up. I would have one inch pleat amount. So the distance is one inch each. If you just drew the shoulder line, you can have a gathering on the shoulder. But I'm going to make pleat. I'll show you how to make a V-shaped pleat. Connect two points and find the center. Draw the guideline from that center point. You can decide where the pleats go, the direction. Once you decide the angle of the pleats, make a dart. It doesn't matter the dart length because it's just a guideline for now. These two dart legs should be the same. Measure the longer one and lengthen the shorter one. So they are the same. Then you want to decide which way you want to fold the pleat. On the right side of the fabric, these two points will meet each other, right? Then you can fold the center point towards the neck or towards the shoulder. For the cowl neck, I would fold the pleat seam towards the shoulder. We made one inch pleat, which means when I fold this pleat, the center point will go here, half inch down from the pleat. Draw a line to the dart point and measure it. This length should be the same as the guideline in the middle. So these two blue lines should be the same length. Remove the guidelines and add notches. If you keep the guideline, a sewer might think it's a dart, but actually it's a pleat, right? Do the same process for the other pleat. We completed the pleated cowl neck pattern. You want to make folded facing to the neck? Watch this video. It is about basic cowl neck and you can learn how to make one piece facing for the cowl neck. If you have any questions, comment below. Have a great week. I'll see you in the next video.